Hello all my friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day, an outstanding day. I am getting ready to go to the gym, but I wanted to make this video because I was thinking about this last night. I've been thinking about building my own bike, a faster bike than I have with my Roxy, who is presently decorated with Christmas lights. My ET is going to be here forever. Helmet and my presents. And she's also covered up to keep her battery warm. And I have this 200 watt heater on here. Nice, not hot, but nice and toasty, which we're getting ready to turn off. And one handed here. Getting ready to plug in the charger. Why? Because I'm going to do a speed run with my Santa suit on. Here's battery 101. Unplug charger. Then you plug it into the battery. And then you plug it into the cord. Never the other way around. Charging red. I'm going to put a full charge on here because bikes are faster with more voltage. And that's really what this video is about. So I've been watching videos from the YouTube channel, Mr. E. He's up in New York City. I'm going to put his link in here. Shout out to Mr. E. If you want to get information about e-bikes and motors and batteries, Look at his videos and subscribe and follow him because he frequently goes to Powerful Lithium, company up in Jersey City, right on the edge of Jersey, New York, not in New York. They build batteries, custom batteries, batteries for every different kind of bike. They also make bikes faster, safer, and cooler looking and they have a person in he puts a person in these videos from powerful lithium who i've given the moniker of the professor i like him a lot he reminds me of my friend ed from law school ed hershon shout out to ed hershon who was a famous civil rights lawyer now in, in annapolis area so the professor reminds me of ed the way he talks the way he looks and he's very smart. He's super smart. And he just did a video with Mr. E about controllers and the relationship with building a bike, making a bike go faster and more efficient efficiency, controllers, motor, and batteries and voltage and how they're all entwined together. I'm not going to do as good a job as he did, but it made me think about my bike, Roxy, fabulous e-bike road warrior XT, all wheel drive, has two motors, one in the front, one in the back, 750 watt motors, 60 volt battery, 24 amp hours. And there's a controller, one. 17 amps. Citizen Cycle, who does great reviews on this bike and the wired bike comparison, which is why I bought this bike, says there's also one up in here, another 17 amp. So makes sense, logical, one and one. So I, I, I couldn't figure out why this bike is so fast. I weigh 250 pounds. This bike has throttled me 39 miles per hour. I've pedaled it 41 miles per hour, and I've gone 44 plus miles per hour down a hill and not really pedaling to get that fast. And the professor explained why. And that is 
controllers, the size of controllers, amperage, the bigger the controller, the more torque you get on the motor. So the more off the line, oomph, power, boom, jump you get. Voltage gives you speed. So the combination to make the, you need the right combination to have the perfect soup, so to speak, but it's voltage that gives you speed because the volt higher the voltage it makes the motor turn faster and it's more efficient the higher the amperage the hotter the motor gets wears out parts faster and it's not as efficient so this bike here when i only have one motor on it's one 750 watt motor with 60 volts, but only 17 amps. It takes off fine with me if I'm on level ground, but if I'm on a hill, it does not take off. I would dump the bike. But when I have both motors on, I take off really fast and I also get to a high top and speed. If you compare this bike to the wired bike, the wired bike is 60 volt with a 40 amp it's just about as fast. It might be a one or two miles per hour slower on the top end, but it's quicker off the jump. Citizen Cycle did a good test of how quick they're off the line. So the wired hits harder off the line, more oomph off the line because it's got the bigger controller. Here's two 17s, that's 34 amps. The wired's 40, so it's six amps bigger and so it has a harder hit. So the motor works harder. So arguably it's not as efficient. This bike here, if I'm going from a stop sign and going across two lanes of traffic, by the time I get to the other side, I'm doing 20 miles an hour. So whatever that is, 25, 26 feet, I'm doing 20 miles an hour. And I have the the takeoff speed turned down because the front wheel spin uh, if it had max power. So this doesn't have the same grunt torque to get out of the hole, but it's got the top end speed because it's efficient because it's 60 volt with smaller amp controllers. And so what is the significance of this? This is the significance. If you're building a bike, you don't want to have too big of controller for the battery because you will make the motor work harder and it will die sooner. Especially if the internals of the motor are plastic, they will get hot and they will deform and break. So if you're building a bike, you need to have the right size motor paired with the right size controller for amperage and the battery and the more volts in the battery the better 60 volts better than 52 52 better than 48 72 better than all of them so if you're building a bike you really want to shoot for 72 volts and the right size controller not too big it's better to have more volts smaller controller because you will be more efficient you will go further even though this battery here is pretty big it's 24 amp hours that's one reason why i go so far on this bike that's why i've gone like uh almost 55 miles on this bike and still had like five volts left because of how this bike was designed with the voltage and those two smaller controllers so if you're building a bike I'm, I'm recommending you recommend that you go to Mr. E's uh, YouTube channel, watch the video with Powerful Lithium, the professor of Powerful Lithium, explain about building a bike with the proper controller, the proper battery voltage, and the proper motor. So I found it really interesting. I hope you did too. I hope you got something good out of this. 
And like I said, one reason why I love this bike, uh, this bike and the wired bike are the fastest bikes that I know in this price range. This bike cost me like 2,600 bucks, free delivery, no tax. The wired is, you might as well say 2,000 plus delivery to me was 250. They had a backlog uh, before I bought this and the old version was the one that I was looking at where the shock hit the, where the bike hit the controller. The newer version doesn't do that, but the wired and this fabulous e-bike, which for some reason you don't see a lot with about this road warrior. This is a fast bike, 250 pounds. And I'm knocking on 40 miles an hour at the throttle. So anyway, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, remember battery 101 plug it your charger into the battery first and then the charger into your wall outlet or cord all right i love you all see